Hurdy, 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 flippity, floppity. First we take the rubber chicken and we dip it in the flour. Hey, get out of here, you crazy Swedish bastard, before I unleash some freedom on you. Oh, Jesus. Freaking the Swedish chef, ladies and gentlemen, that crazy Swedish bastard needs to get out of my house. So now, let's get serious. Today, we have a replay featuring Hellhound and his Stritzwagen 103B, also known as the S-Tank. Now, what we have here is it's a tank armed with a 105 gun, and it's got a hydraulic suspension, so it can raise and lower that gun, and then it traverses on its tracks to uh, turn the gun left and right. It's completely fixed, and it's armed with an autoloader. Let's see what Hellhound can do with this thing. All right, so he's gonna move forward. He's being a bit aggressive here with the Stritzwagen. Now he hits the siege mode, and now he kimps some bush. This is still a risky location for him. Ooh, barely missed that shot. Has he been spotted? I don't think he has six cents on this machine. That's a pretty interesting machine. I like how they did the uh, the engine sounds on this. See, what you have is on one side of the tank, you actually have a diesel engine. And then on the other side of the tank, you actually have a turbine engine. And that whistle in your hearing or that humming, if you will, is the turbine engine. So right now he's got the typical tank destroyer sniper position set up. Does he, have he doesn't have shots on the IS-3. But he's keeping an eye on that corner over there, C9. Trying to get some shots here on those two. Scanning for shot. Ooh, Doom Turtle. Nice shot in the Doom Turtle. Tracked him and did some damage. He's got a very high penetration gun. Very good shell velocity. Nice shot again. Keeping him tracked and doing damage. And gets the kill on the T95. Um, I don't know what that was about. Trying to get the track shot. Got the track shot, but did no damage on the T-32. He's got one more shot of premium ammo. And I suspect what happened here is he switched to premium ammo and actually forgot that he was using premium ammo. Ooh, biggish. Ooh nice shot on the mouse. Just barely hit the side of the turret. Barely missed an E-75. Now he backs up a little bit, tries to get some double bush to help him remain undetected. And his team right now is losing. It's one to three. Didn't like that, did you, little clerk? Oh, here's Fritz again. Oh, Fritz disappeared. So now he's going to hit Joe here in his M103. Nice shot on the M103. Penetrates the upper glacius, no problem. Pens the M103 again. Now there's an IS-3 he had shots at. That shot may have hit. Now you got Nikolai here running away in his tank destroyer. This takes one in the side. 
This is a pretty good position here for a tank destroyer, but it's kind of an all or nothing type position. There's the mouse. Ah, Fritz didn't like that now, did he? Goodbye, Fritz. The little clerk over there still lurching around at C8. There's a T110E4. It's a pretty dangerous tank destroyer if it can get close, but it's, it's its gun is not very accurate for its tier. It gets tracked. Tracks him again. Now he loads HC and he keeps him tracked. And he does just a little bit of damage. Still just keeping him tracked and doing a little bit of damage at a time with HE. And that blind shot actually probably hit target. And there's a clerk still, still hiding behind that building. Still can't get a good shot on Dave. Dave is hiding behind uh, a dead enemy. Probably looks like the mouse, maybe. So even in death, the mouse is still useful. Oh, M48 Patton trying to sneak up the middle. No, you don't. Oh, and he got spotted. Oh, he takes a hard hit there from the E4. Repairs his track. Sorry, repairs his gun. No, excuse me. God, I am so crap sometimes. That was his engine he repaired. Now he kicks in the turbine and the diesel and he goes running for it. <coughs> excuse me. So I don't have this machine in general and I've been wanting to get this machine. Well, I have the S1, and it is just an amazing machine. If you don't have an S1 in your ar in your arsenal and you like TDs, you need to get an S1. S1 it is an amazing TD. And the cool thing about this, I don't recall if you see it at all, but these machines, these S tanks, drive as fast backwards as they do forward. The chief didn't actually... Every once in a while, when I'm streaming with the, ch when I'm playing with the Chieftain, uh, and I run my S1, he'll uh, poke at me, jab at me, for driving in reverse. Every time I do it, he's like, oh, now you're just showing off because you can. I like to drive in reverse a lot with my machine. And it drives pretty good, actually, in reverse. All right, so he spots the scorpion. Does a proxy spot. Ooh, this is going to get a little tricky here. And he completely derps that shot into the dirt. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, he just got saved by that 416. That was almost an epic fail. So now, right now, we're looking at Hellhound almost did 4,000 damage, and he's got almost 1,400 spotting. There's still three enemy tanks left. It's actually pretty interesting because the Swedish the Swedish had put this entered this in some trials. I believe in the trials at the time was the Centurion. It might have been I think the other one was the M48 uh, Patton. And this was an earlier M48, and I think a Leopard. And they actually showed the combat performance of 
their S tanks was actually on par even with a Centurion. Oh, here we got an enemy tank. He's going to enter siege mode. Creep. And this thing, in, in siege mode, this thing's gut handling is amazing. Looks like he tracked him and got a penetrating hit. Really bounced the side of the turret. Uh oh. Oh, and he bounced that. Nice kill. Now these these machines aren't incredibly heavily armored. What actually is the armor is the shaping of the armor. Very tough to land a shot in on. So we're at 40, uh, 4,500 damage. He's closing on the M103. We're at 1,500 spotted too. And almost 1,000 blocked. And the object 260 kills himself just to get the M103 kill. So that was a pretty good, pretty good replay, I feel. So what we got here? Let's look at the post-battle results. So there you go. Four kills, almost 1,000 blocked, a little over 1,500 spotting, and he actually got 5,024 damage, which tells me at least one if not two of his blind shots actually hit target. And if you look, he actually did hit the IS-3. So he only got a class two, which is a shame because that was, that was a pretty good amount of damage. He got a hand of God and he got a confederate. So yeah, top damage between both teams. I'd say not bad at all. I'm sure he probably really enjoys the Hellhound probably really enjoys the Stritzwagen 103B at tier 10. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.